Hi, Laura here. Today I'm doing a collab with Kaylee Weasley. Again. <laughs> so, oh, I've done quite a few collabs with Kaylee now, so you probably, if you're following me, you're probably following her. So I would encourage you to go down and check in the description box and check out Kaylee. She is a lot of fun and she loves project painting and she loves doing lots of looks and collabs and she loves chatting and getting to know you. And she's just a really sweet, wonderful person. And we were talking about what collab to do, and um, she was saying, oh, I want to do a yellow and green sort of opposite look. And somehow uh, that conversation got completely turned around and turned into something completely different. So <laughs> it, we discovered we both had the wet and the lit palette, and um, I've never used either of these. I've swatched a couple of colours when I was looking for colours, but I've never actually used them. And um, when I said, oh, we could do a wet versus lit palette, I was thinking of doing a doing them together and doing kind of an opposite look. And she was thinking, oh, well, I'll do the wet and you do the lit. <laughs> so that's what we ended up doing. So she she's doing a look with the wet palette, and I'm not going to show you the inside if you want to see. You'll have to go have a look at Kaylex. And I'm doing the lit one. Now the lit one is these beautiful warm colours here. And um, the reason why I haven't used it is because I've had lots of different palettes to try out. But also for um, Colourpop, I can get free shipping if I buy $50 worth of stuff. So I was buying, it could have been It's My Pleasure palette and the Blue Moon palette or, or something like that. <laughs> Or it could have been the main squeeze palette <laughs> and I wanted to add some things to my cart that I could use to get free shipping and um, so that's why I bought these palettes because they look like they had some nice colours in them and I could also get free shipping if I put them in my cart so that's why I haven't actually used them yet <laughs> now I have no idea what Kaylee's doing but I'm sure whatever it is it's going to be gorgeous because she does gorgeous colourful looks with her Colors and I am mm -mm, need to be able to see in my mirror. <laughs> I am going to start off with. What am I going to start off with? I think I'm going to start off with the yellow here, which is called Cleo Amor. Let's see how pigmented this yellow is. I'm going to use a fluffy brush. So if I have, if you see any random glitters on my face. Because I've actually already done a look today. That's with a fluffy brush, so that's not bad, actually, for a yellow with a fluffy brush. See, I'm a pretty shade of yellow. I'm going to try a flat brush to see what that looks like if I pack it on. It's pretty yellow. I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> today. And also, it's nearly lunchtime, so I'm really hungry. <laughs> Where am I going with this? I should have planned it out a bit more before I started. Uh, I think I'm going to go in with Maraschino. Is that what that's called? Maraschito? Got a tea on it. Deepen that up a little bit. Hmm. That is a lot pinkier than I was expecting. And I'm going to go in with or oh, whatever. And I think I'll go in with She Got Money. Um, I need a slightly smaller brush. And then on the other side, just to be completely random and different, I'm going to go in with a like. So I, I don't know what, as I said, I don't know what Kaylee's doing, but I decided to just 
carry on doing the opposite look but just with the one palette <laughs> because um, I think our conversation got a bit forgotten and confused because it went over for so long and we were also organising other things in between <laughs> Try going in with period up. It's a pretty colour. I'm going to go in with that colour again to darken up the outside. See how that goes. And then I'm going to go into Mercy here. And I'm going to end up using a lot of brushes for one look. <laughs> Going up very well. Maybe I'll spray that one. Chose up well on my finger. Oh, I've got swatches on my arm already. I'll just do it on the back of my hand instead. That's a pretty colour. Just it's not showing up very well with those other colours. Maybe the other colours are drowning it out. Well, it shows up much better when you spray it, that's for sure. Now I'll have to go in more with um, She Got Money on this side because I've gone a lot further. I'll, pre I'll pretend they're supposed to be matching. <laughs> Even though they're not matching. I can't remember which brushes I used for which colour now. I'm going to go back into like and just Spread that out a bit. And then underneath Now I've seen Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner do quite a few of these looks where you do one colour on the top and then you swap them over and do the other colour on the bottom and I've always wanted to try that so when Katie said she wanted to play around with colours I'm not sure if that's what she meant I'm not sure if she even if we even knew what each other meant but this is what it's turning into it's a trouble when you're not actually talking to someone and you're just writing it down because we were DMing on Instagram. Sometimes the message gets a bit confused. But that's okay. I don't mind. So I'm going to go underneath with Like, which is that colour that I used there. So is it looking like they belong together? And I'm going into Mercy, which is that shimmery one. See, when I'm not putting it over something else, it looks a lot better. That Mercy colour. And then I'm going to go into Periodot, which is the one that I used up here. This brush might be too fat. Rub off some of that colour. Oh yeah, I'm not minding that. And then on the other side, I'm going to go into Cleo Amour, which is the yellow. And then I'm going to go into, what am I going to do? 
actually got money. So pretty kind of a dark gold. It's quite different from what it looks like in there. What does it look like when you swap it? Yeah, I feel like it looks quite different in the pan than it does on your hand. See how much darker that looks than in the pan? If you can actually see it. It looks a lot darker than it does in the pan. But it's pretty. I like it. It's just darker than what I was expecting. Hmm. Now here's a colour I didn't use. I'm going to go into batting. Is that how you're supposed to say that? It's kind of a shimmery pink. Is it? And it's got a bit of a gold reflex on it. That's why it's showing up more gold than pink. So what happens if I put it on this side next to the yellow? Oh, there you go. Put it next to the red and it's the gold is really showing up. Put it next to the yellow and the pink is really showing up. Interesting colour. I'm going to put some of that up here as well. And when it's not next to anything, it's more of a pink with a gold shift. <laughs> Now, I want something to blend these two colours together a little. So I'm just going to go in with this colour Dream out of my Nudes 4 palette because I just want something green, bland and neutral just to do up here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back into or whatever. And if I can find the brush that I used, I'm going to go back into dot here. Just going to bring it up a little bit higher because um, the hood on my eyes covering the colour. Up. And. Try something, it may not work. <laughs> I'm just going to clean off my waterline here. Now, I want to try putting the yellow on this side and burgundy on this side. Let's see what happens. So, I hope you could hear me through that because I realised I didn't have my microphone on but it was sitting right in front of me so hopefully you could hear me. So I've also gone in with um, the aubergine glitter from Wonder 2 on the top on this side and I did the, hang on, the bronze one, the bronze glitter on the top on the yellow side and put my mascara on and I need a little bit more blush. I want to go slightly orangey I think so I'm going to go in with Jean here in the middle and this is my Chi Chi Ombre Blush Collection palette I'm going to go into this highlighter here from W7 Strobe Time 
according to this, it's supposed to be a blusher, but it doesn't look like a brush, blusher to me. It looks like a highlighter. They all look like highlighters to me. So I don't use any of them for what it says because it's supposed to be strobe. It's supposed to be that one. It's radiance and glow to your face. And then this one's supposed to be a bronzer. That one's supposed to be a blush and that one's supposed to be a highlighter. But to me, they're just all highlighters. So <laughs> that's what I use them as. Now for lips, what am I going to do for lips? So this is a Touch of Spice Match Lipstick from Maybelline. Cake Cosmetics lip gloss. This is a nice gold one. And there is my lit palette look. Doing opposite eyes. I actually really enjoyed that, doing that, and um, it's a really nice little palette. So, and the other thing I like about these palettes is being ColourPop, the their colour their colours are magnetic, and you can pop them out, so you can take it out and put it in your singles collection and mix and match and things, which I think is pretty cool since I'm just starting to get into singles, and. Um, I enjoyed doing this and I enjoyed using a palette that's been sitting in my shelf, not being used for a little bit too. So thank you Kaylee, for being such a great friend and for, sorry the dog keeps running past barking at things going past. <laughs> so thank you Kaylee, for being such a great friend to me and enjoying and I've really enjoyed meeting you here on YouTube and chatting to you on Instagram and things. and. I, I'm sure this will be just another one of many other collabs we do either in a group or together because you're so wonderful to collab with. <laughs> so if anyone wants to collab with Kaylee, she's always open to suggestions and so am I. <laughs> so I'm really curious to see what Kaylee actually does with the wet palette because um, I have a feeling we're going to be doing very different things because the colour schemes are very different. <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye!